Carter. Five. Call. Okay, roll call. That's right. Yep. Jason Worm. Here. Very well. Here. Tandra. Here. Dave White. Here. Ernest Island. Here. Okay. Sean Coakley. Here. And that. She's, She's on her way. way. Okay, and Devin. Okay. Here. <laughs> Ready? All right, looking over last month's minutes. Corrections, deletions. If not, I need I to move we accept. First by Brian, you a second? I, I make second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Jason? All righty. Uh, we'll start off with a little business. Um, the J.C. Park. Uh, today, actually, well, we'll go through the baseball first. Um, the Sandusky Traveler <coughs> team, we had a grant to get paint from Sandusky Paint to paint the dugouts and the um, basically press box area, concession area, through um, Erie Metro Parks. So the team had a painting day and painted the dugouts uh, and all that two weeks ago, or probably a week and a half ago. And it looks better, we kept it blue, um, so we're, we're good with that. And then um, as far as the Scott May courts, if anyone drove by today, the tree that was there, the cottonwood, the old cottonwood came down. Um, as we were taking it down because of the asphalt's gonna be redone out there soon. I'm, uh, I was told within a, a month's time we'd resurface those courts. Um, the tree was actually pushing up the asphalt and making it uh, not as easy to play on the courts and to, to resurface those, we had to take the tree down because of the root system underneath there. Um, the- Behind that Jason down, that tree down because the roots are still underneath that court. Yeah, they're, uh, they were in the process today of taking it down, yeah. It's, um, we're, we're still moving forward with uh, all the basketball court improvements we'd like to do, possible shelter in the fall. Can I back up for a second? Sure. To ask you what was about Ratherfield? It was the, uh, the baseball uh, dugouts, baseball dugouts, and the concession area were painted by the Sandusky Traveler baseball team. Okay. Sandusky Paint. And it was purchased at Sandusky Paint, yeah, through a grant with Erie Metro Parks. All right, we want to skip uh, these yeah. since that's not here. Yeah, we'll hold off on Mills Creek. Yeah, let's just move on to. Summer programming. Sure. Um, as you all have, I think, is our, our guide for this summer. It's um, not as uh, big of a booklet as we've done in years past, but um, we have a lot of the same programs coming back, some of the new ones that are coming back as well. Uh, we actually had staff in yesterday, our seasonal staff coming in, and Tondra can talk about how, how that went. Uh, some training yesterday. Yeah, we had some awesome training. We had CPR, first aid, and AED training at the fire station um, by Tom Salmons. It, it was a great training. We also did our staff training, and <clears throat> we are still in need of three, at least at minimum two, um, staff for the park program. We had two employee, two uh, potential employees that, that had to change their mind, and I think it has a lot to do with the uh, <coughs> rate of pay that the other places are <clears throat> offering, which is fine. I mean, you know, people have to do what they have to do. But if they have, if you know anyone that has a vehicle that will be able to transport themselves to two parks in a shift uh, between 11 and 3 would be great. Um, send them to Connie Nicholson at HR here or contact me and we can get them plugged in. Um, the staff that we did have show, came uh, orientation yesterday and training. We brought, they came back today, and I gave them a tour of all the parks and brought them into City Hall, let them see 
the new city hall and the pavilion and the greenhouse. Um, other than that, the um, we're ready to go. I mean, the, the, there's a lot of different kids out to some of the parks that just moved in the area, so um, we're working on the registration part of it, which we, we got, you know, we're flexible um, with that. So is there other? Uh, just it's kind of the programming we have going on at oh, all, uh, so the other yep, Yeah, we have other programming that starts Monday at 222. We have an awesome, uh, it is called the, the uh, Creative Writing Workshop with Jennifer Washington, I mean Ashburn, excuse me, Jennifer Ashburn. And it's a six-week program. We also will have um, um, Moving with Mookie, which is a dance program of six weeks. And that won't start until July, but that's going to be at 222. And then we have Spanish. Spanish is back, and that's at 222 as well. And we also have a new program of skateboard one-on-one, -on -one, skateboarding one-on-one. -on -one. It starts in July, and that's a six-week program as well. And the summer guide's available um, on our Facebook page, and uh, you can download it at our website. So there are some spots left available for Tap Fit with Tondra down at the pavilion on both classes, um, like maybe four or five spots left. So you want to get in on that. And what else we got? Uh, just whatever else was. Oh, uh, just the Living the Wildlife at Pipe Creek, Living the Wildlife at Mills Creek will be later on this summer in August. And we're going to do a an extra page or two of, of later this summer things because we had to get this out and that would include um, World or uh, Sandusky's Strongest Kid competition that we've talked with Dave about a little bit um, and then there's uh, Serving Our Seniors program that Yeah, that's a uh, introduction to um, art uh, with Richard Sherman, I believe his name is and then there's a bowling camp as well that is later Yeah so more stuff coming. More, more and more. <laughs> more stuff coming. Toby, do anything for shuffleboard? That'd be in that later in July, um, kind of an addendum. I'm working with Toby to get some dates set for that, making sure he's not off on uh, his weekends. And uh, talking with Crimus, George, I believe it's George Crimus that did the- okay, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. All right, Wednesday, make a note of that. For you, we will. Sailing. And we wanted to make a kids component to that too, so we could Great. have that as well. Be in Alaska on the weekends. You're going to be in Alaska on the weekends? That's for Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside old joke. <laughs> Jason, the only thing I see, and I know this, you probably didn't know this, you got your rain out dates for Mama Collins on Tuesdays. Yeah. Football teams in camp five to seven thirty on Tuesdays. Five to seven thirty on, on Tuesdays. Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Thursday. And is that now? Yes. Through June. Okay. Well, we'll. So Wednesday should be fine. We'll make a note of that if we have to. If you got to move, you got to go to Wednesday because we're yeah. gonna be, they're going to be in the field. So. Okay. Just giving a heads up so you guys show up and we're there, 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 and it's not conducive. Okay. They don't want to help. No, okay, help with the uh, events, <laughs> football team out there. I'm at the stadium enough right now. Yeah. All right, well done with that. Let's go back to Miss Annette. Update on Mills Creek. Um, I sent over earlier via email the revenue for a uh, period of May five one to five thirty one. Um, 30,468 50 and then I gave a comparison from last year. Did you print that one out, Jason? I printed out a few of them. Okay. Um, well, there. obviously you see that our revenue is, we're substantially more than last year. End of May last year was 50,000, some odd change, and we're at 76, I believe. Does anybody have that one? I didn't grab Sorry. one. Sorry. So, so we are seeing that. We are a little bit slower this month. We are seeing in revenue, just with that, just a, a little tidbit because of downstream, they got quite a bit of rain, like five inches. We are over the banks. 
Um, we are up to the bridges on seven, uh, so um, we are to that point. Uh, we are letting league out tonight. If we have to reroute them, we'll reroute them to one of either the bridge on two or eight. Um, the course actually has held, it's, it's not in bad shape. It's just, you know, water is over the banks on um, two, five, um, both sides on five, um, and eight, it's coming up towards the, the senior tee box. So we're experiencing that. Seven has just one, one puddle there. So we end up having that. Um, so a little bit slower June. Um, hoping it'll pick up, but we have had a number of rain out days, so it, it's just understandable. So that's where we're at revenue wise. Anybody have any questions on revenue? Events, uh, we did have the, um, in May, the Butch Wagner um, for Memorial outing, uh, 73 golfers. It went very well. Um, we uh, will plan on doing this as an annual event. Uh, next year, we just have to determine whether, if, how, if we were going to add a second flight, if we're going to do a second flight in the afternoon, are we going to do it a second day? So that's some conversations that Tom and I worked on that, that we could do that along with the family. So we're talking about that. Um, in regards to just some other sidebars, um, I know Jason had spoke about the grant from. Um, Erie Metro Parks, we also did get the grant for Erie Metro Parks, $5,000 for the start of the cart path. Uh, we also did submit a grant to um, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, NatureWorks, for the remainder um, uh, of the cart paths for the, everything um, city-owned side of the city-owned side of the course. So uh, we won't, that money would not be issued until next year. So I believe we won't find anything out about that until I believe September yeah. is what they told us with that. That's the one that has the allocation for Erie County. I think the allocation was like 36,000 and we asked for like 32. So uh, we'll just wait and see with that. I know one of the, the I don't know if it's, we may wanna be a little, I may want to be a little bit more proactive. Uh, they like uh, any of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources grants want public input more so. Uh, so I think we need to devise a survey that we can put out not only on Facebook, but to all of our members about possible improvements that we could do to the golf course. So we would have that information readily available to us as, as we apply for addi additional grants or different grants. So that's just something I think that we need to think about. Um, other events going on, this week we have um, our first youth golf camp. It's full, 10. Next week is full with 10. And we have a third week that has seven spots filled. We only have three spots, which I don't anticipate in those full, or uh, anticipate those not filling up. Um, Dave Calatrulio, um, Sandusky's coach, is running our camps. Um, we went today with a little bit of sprinkles, but the kids, we, we, we got it in. Uh, we have secured all the dates for Sandusky's boys and girls um, golf team. I met with Toby Nodstein today, and I've got um, some tentative dates for girls and a few boys matches. So um, we've also secured that as well. And I think that's all I have. Oh, and um, Chris Lewis from Lake Your Shores oh, and yes. Islands re reached out about doing a possible feature on Mills Creek. The Solheim Cup is happening in Toledo, and they want to feature some area golf courses, and he's going to touch base with Annette. Yep. Do some video. Real, real quick, on road, where do we stand with the diocese? Have we started talking to them? Because 2024 is only <coughs> two years away. Uh, there's... I know that there was talk before this whole pandemic thing hit of sitting down for some meetings with the diocese, but um, I think that's something that the either commissioners or and or Eric might be working on. Uh, now we're trying to get figure out things with the law department as well. 
you said 2024 is only two years away. Right. Is it after 2024? I think it's 2024. Goes through 2024, 1999 through 2024. to 2024. It's something we not, we, us need to get on, get going with it. What would be the options they would discuss? Right. Now, I don't know if the rec, if rec board had input on that 25 years ago when it when it came through. I think that was more of a city, yeah. and, you know, city manager and law department handling it before. But is there any input? If there's input that I'm asked for, and have the rec board have a have input on it as well, that's something that we'll bring to the rec board. I think we would probably ask, <clears throat> ask you since maybe for at our next meeting to have an update or just on the progress of that. Just I know it's slow. At this point, it's a little bit slow moving yeah. for obvious reasons. Maybe an up, a specific update on that for, uh, for, the, for our next meeting, if possible. Yep. All right. Anything else on our old business? We want a new business. All right. We're getting, since it's First and second week of June, the special events are kicking into full gear. We have our first major event, which would be the Toast of Ohio Wine Festival. Uh, they've moved from Central Avenue to the pier and using Mylander Pavilion. There's an art component with Judy Corso. They're bringing basically the art walk to it, so it'll be more of a wine and arts festival this Saturday. Um, traffic will be maintained uh, to the pier, so cars can still use the entire pier. This is just utilizing the pavilion space, the uh, the outside poured concrete area, and uh, up to the, the Great Lawn. There may be some vendors out in the Great Lawn as well. I know some vendors were interested in that. I've heard over 20 art vendors. Um, it looks like it's going to be a great day um, weather-wise, so we should be able to have a good event. I don't know if anyone's been downtown the past uh, couple weekends, but there's been a lot of people down walking, using the pathway, uh, using the pier, uh, hanging out. So looking forward to that. Uh, and then Saturday night is the All for Abs Glow Run. Uh, that's our second race in the Rundusky series. So they do a uh, 5K out of the golf course. It's a <coughs> one and a half mile loop. Um, they do twice. Uh, so it's, it's a busy day Saturday. And that's not to mention all the stuff that we have in the morning with yoga and peer pressure and the farmer's market and the things that are going on uh, down here. Um, gazebo concert series schedule is set. I, I think everyone on, in here is on the press release email I sent uh, for Susie for the Sandusky Community Celebrations Council. That starts June 29th and goes for, I believe it's eight Tuesdays. Um, and then I also included the schedule for the 4th of July, Stars and Stripes um, entertainment on that afternoon. And then on 4th of July, we also have the, in the morning the Boy with the Boot 5K uh, happening. One thing that's been set since, I think I sent this out yesterday, the agenda was the Movies by the Bay uh, sponsorship. We've been working with Whiteman Weber Kids Fest and Safety, sorry, Whiteman Weber Safety Fair and Kids Fest Committee uh, to provide a sponsorship for our movies for this year, the Movies by the Bay, which was typically at the Paper District Marina. The city has a screen that was provided by Firelands Regional Health System that will be uh, joining us here in the next couple weeks. Uh, the screen will be used at the Great Lawn on the pier for these movies, and the movies start the Tuesday after 4th July, so Tuesday, July 6th, with Sherry's favorite movie, Zootopia. Is it? No? It's not your favorite movie? All right. Yeah. Um, we have a full schedule of uh, movies, and we'll get that out. Um, and get a schedule set on our Facebook page and get that all on our on our website as well. But uh, one of the highlights is people had asked if we could do a double feature of Toy Story and Toy Story 2, so that'll be one of the last Tuesdays in August um, before kids go back to school, which would be the 17th. So full slate plus one of the movies will, will be shown. Um, we're going to make that part of the Touch a Truck event that was recommended <coughs> at, at the Whiteman Weber Committee. To, sh to bring you bring the screen over to the Sandusky Bay Pavilion uh, and, and make that available there instead of having two separate locations. There's only going to be one location for the movies except for the one we moved. Right. Just off, off as of right now, we've we'd like to show like 
to the sandlot out at AMVETS at some point, but we're, okay. we want to make sure we know exactly what we're doing with the screen, and we will have training once that is delivered, which should be yeah. in the next week or two. Um, that's all I have for events. Juneteenth. Oh, sorry. Talk about Juneteenth <laughs> and talk about all the other different Juneteenth events that are going on. Yeah. So Juneteenth is um, Saturday the 19th. It is going. It is actually um, one of the oldest holidays that we don't really celebrate as much, but that's going to probably start changing a little bit. But we will have a event where there's three events going on in the city. One is at the Pavilion, where we will have um, Dr. Craig Woodson join us, and Dr. I um, mean, uh, Officer Lynn. Oh, I forgot his last name, but he's coming, and they will speak of uh, what Juneteenth means to them and their um, involvement in the celebrations and festivals and parades that they've experienced throughout the years that they've known about it. Um, that's from 3.30 to 6.30 at the pavilion. There will also be a make and take um, drum that we will, the kids and all the participants will be able to make uh, drums and then uh, we'll have a drum circle on the Great Lawn. The other event is down the road at Battery Park, and that is from one to five, and that is a celebration of freedom for Juneteenth, and it is hosted by several local residents. They'll have uh, music, um, free food, free cultural food. They'll have some um, parade. I think they might have a parade. I'm not sure about that one, but. They'll have some vendors, and um, it should be a good time for that. And the other one is over on the east end of town, and there is a blockage of from Cleveland Road to Fifth Street. That portion of Farwell Street is blocked off, and there'll be a big block party. There's a parade at 1. I think there's a slip and slide kickball game at 3 p.m., there's some kind of light show later in the evening, and that is from 1 to 9. There are free hot dogs and ice cream for kids at that event. There's DJs, there's music, and it's just a great time for the city of Sandusky to start celebrating Juneteenth. I'm very excited about it. And then there's another event July 10th at the Pavilion. Justin Dorsey presents um, the United Runway he is doing a fashion show. The kids that are part of the Make It So Easy program through the Reg Department and Stephanie Mayfield's um, fine design and, and uh, alterations um, will be making garments. Those kids will, and she has some um, garments that she's made that she'll have in the show as well. And that should be a good time down there. Um, I don't have anything else. I think that's the only two. June 10th, what time? June that was July 10th for the July fashion 10th. show. July 10th is the fashion show. It, I believe it starts at 6. Sounds about right. Something like that. And then the Juneteenth is 3.30 to 6.30, which is... And you have to, you have to register. Uh, the, the registration is a free event. Um, Juneteenth is down at the pavilion, but the registration is for the drums. Um, if you want to be a part of the make and take drum part, portion of it in the drum circle, we just suggest that you register so that we can have a uh, planning accordingly on the equipment that he has to bring to make the drums. And before you know it, it'll be August 3rd and we'll have touch a truck. Right. Which, <laughs> which we do have a, I just want to mention, we do have some tournaments at the golf course. Um, on uh, next week, in, we're going to have a U.S. Open tournament. It's a two-team tournament where you, um, it's scramble format. You play two rounds within the week's period, turn your card in, and then on Sunday during the Open, we'll match you up with a, uh, one, a professional player, and then we'll determine the winner by, by that. We also have our senior and super senior um, opens. That's Saturday the 19th and the 27th, a new tournament. We're doing the four club challenge, which is a two, two man team where you select only four clubs to use on the course. And um, that will also be scramble format. What's that? It's all you use, Bernie? It's all I use. It's four clubs. So you're, there you go. <laughs> Get into it. So, 
And then, as Jason said, <coughs> August 3rd is touch a truck, so that is in planning process now. And July 4th? July, sorry, July 4th, we are also doing a early morning um, nine hole scramble, 930 firecracker open. So um, we wanted to do it late enough so that some of our early members can get out and golf and early enough that people can get down to the celebration. So it's pretty jam packed time. Yeah, lots to do. All right, anything else under new business? No, we mentioned the grants. Um, we're just moving forward with those. Right. Are there any new ones that were coming up other than the? I haven't seen anything that has popped up. Um, everything really was delayed because of COVID. Normally they're due, like the June 1st one is normally due in February, but it was delayed. So that was, that was for the um, Nature Works grant, but I haven't seen any additional ones at this point. One thing I would recommend is, is we do some type of a, a plan, a, a, a master, figuratively a master plan process. Um, it does help when you're writing grants um, because you've, you've got the public input, you've done your, you know, all your uh, assessments of all your facilities. Um, I believe the last master plan was done in 09, 07, 07, um, yeah, 07, and the golf course was not included in that plan, so um, that would just be a suggestion. It does help when you're trying to secure grants. Oh, one last grant, the boating grant that we got last year, I did finally get certified in kayaking, so... Mm. We'll be taking. We'll have to do one of our meetings out in uh, out on the bay at some point. Cool. <laughs> yeah. We have to get the kayaks out. We're going to be purchasing kayaks here before the end of the summer, and mainly doing all of our programs in the fall, trying to get um, things going then. Have we made any adjustments to what we have to? I have not heard from okay. the grant administrator since because we were supposed to do so many um, education classes, education yeah. classes, etc. I just wondered yeah. if they extended it another um, year or because we had two years to do it correct right right yeah Bree Holman uh, got certified as well and then Luke work Luke. so we've got three of us that can you can take only up to five kids per what Mick too no oh, yeah Mick, Mick sailing club so we'll be working with them too yeah um yeah no other new business is there any questions on the new business I have a question on where are we standing with was it the golf course in St. Mary's, running the golf course. Oh, you're talking the uh, fun run. For the oh, yeah, the fun run. I was told uh, Toby had mentioned that they weren't they're going to hold off on it this year, right. um, and they won't have the fun run this year, but they'll, they'll look into next year on how to oh, do that. Is it because of money? Uh, I think it's connected to that, but I'm also not sure what their what their plans were anyway with the season. Where did St. Mary's always hold their graduation in the past? Uh, State, State Theater. Theater. State Theater. They usually have one program at their at the school, which is the morning mass, I think, and then they'd have State Theater. Because right yeah. I seen they were at Perkins this year, and I was thinking, I hope that wasn't because of us. Oh, I don't know. State Theater. Not if it was State Theater. Anything else? One more thing. Amvets. How's it doing with their? They start games the 14th next week. Did they get enrollment? I mean, uh, they have teams in I think all the divisions that they were looking to get teams. Uh, we got the concession area. They've got access to the lights. Um, the fields have been turned except for I think one at Sproul that Brian was working on getting set. Uh, but they're they're ready to go for their I don't know what number of season it is. Probably 80 years or eight. They're, they've been around a long time. But yeah, Lisa, I've been working with Lisa Ernstberger and LaMarcus Carr. And then uh, I'm trying to think who the, is Jerry the president now? Jerry, yeah, Evans. Yeah. Anything else on that one? I would just ask um, for volunteers if uh, anyone wants to help out as we're trying to get staff in for the summer park program, if you have an interest in helping out in the parks. Um, hour and a half at a time, two hours at a time, 
to help it us? It would be uh, Huron Park and Lions Park would be the two parks that would just need someone. I'm probably going, if we don't have anyone in place by Monday, um, I'll be, uh, be there too. Because I looked on Reg Desk, there are seven registrations for Lions Park. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. And, and I think it might be four for Huron. What's the times of it this year? 11 to 1 at Huron Park. And uh, Susan Shickley from Ohio State Extension will be joining us. So really just need to be there to supervise and manage the kids. She does, you know, when she pops in, we have visitors. They do what they do. And then the Lions Park is from 1 to 3. And their lunches are being served in each park. So I have to speak with Brad Kraft on how um, the deliveries to the park. So the fire department doesn't bring the lunches anymore. The schools deliver them. But they're, they, we haven't done this before, so we don't know how this works uh, as far as the split shifts of the parks. With one park not starting till one, you know, where is that? We're prepared to have staff stop at our building, yeah. pick them up, and if they have to. Right. Any question, Jason? Any question? Are we going to have a presence at the July Fourth this year? Uh, we or have maybe have a booth where they could have handouts for programs that's you know going on like july august going forward it's a good idea i have somebody like a table down there i think that would help since we don't have we're not doing the mailers right 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 so maybe uh july 4 i, I would think you're going to get 1500 2000 people down there we could just transition our table that we have for the race that starts at 8 30 and and keep all of our information on it because we'll be down there right right at the board with the boot with the lions club as well so we can Keep that set up. If anybody that, wants to, that would help too. Sit, to see that. sit there too and, and volunteer at Fourth of July. Could use people from eight o'clock in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon. I'll be, I'll be a little busy. Golf. I got the boosters too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys still doing sausage? No. You don't do sausage anymore. Oh. Too expensive. Too expensive. We're gonna do pulled pork. Pork is the cheapest right now. Smoke, smoke, smoke it. Or smoke it. Mm -hmm. Coach Johnson and I are going to be smoking it. Pulled hey, pork. Anything else? If not, I need a motion to the fourth of July. Oh, you sell pulled pork? Sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, open discussion? Any open dis or is that is that part of our open discussion? Was the pulled pork? Okay. Uh -huh. I do I need a, I do okay. need a heads up before we do adjourn, just so I can hit the uh, stop recording button and. And I have um, the, the coping through COVID art piece that we had for our kids last year to do that used to be in Vita that moved down to the Erie County um, Community Grant Foundation offices now has to find another home. How big is it? Is it six by six? Six by six. Six, six by six feet. It's, it's, uh, it has two easels that it sits on, but I don't know. Uh, we either find a place over at 222 Megs or where yeah. anywhere else. Anywhere, that, anybody have any suggestions? If anyone owns a, really a local restaurant that, that has that much wall space. So it's, it's, it needs a, yeah, a large space <laughs> for it to live. Devin, do you have anything? Um, um, nope. Just listening to everything. Okay. Devin, are you are you and your family or boys in the Juneteenth parade on Farwell? Um, I haven't decided. I had something else going on. Um, I was supposed to be in Columbus on Juneteenth. But, okay. Um, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to go down there or stay up here. Oh, okay. And then DeMar is coming to the parks. Is that true? I'm trying to work out something with DeMar for basketball with the park program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. If that's, I'll get ready to turn off the recording. Now do I have a motion to adjourn? I move we would adjourn. Second. Thanks. My side. Thank you. I'll see you, sure. See you, buddy. Pick on me a little bit. Now. I will. I, like I will. It. All right. Hot mics. Just for live.